Happy Arvo. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me again today. How you doing? Today we're doing one of my favorite types of videos. Reacting to clips, pictures, posts from Australia. The top ones from all time. Let's do it. All right. Not sure what I've got here, but it's an R funny lunch in Australia. It doesn't get anything. Oh, morning. shit. It's one of the... What, yeah, what is that thing called? It's like a freaking ostrich. Oh my god, I didn't know they were that big. Damn, that looks like it could do some damage to you. Don't get poked in the eye. <laughs> it's like a turkey with its neck. Oh my god. You guys eat these things. And you just have to acknowledge and you have to love how unbothered these Australians are. This is not the reaction you would get in America to this situation. <laughs> Don't stare it down like that. You're making me nervous. It's going to peck your eye out. That's my sandwich. Look how freaking beautiful this place is. They're right by the beach, beautiful tree, and the bird. That's why the picnic table is empty. Damn. You've got to love Australia. <laughs> I don't think I need to watch this whole video, but this is... I'm going to go to the end and see what it does. There's food all on the beach at <coughs> Stay nice and still, my darling. Oh, wow. I'm trying to find uh, the name of this animal. Apparently, it's a dinosaur. A cassowary! There it is. Holy shit. Talking about dinosaurs. Two fishermen in Australia have caught a bizarre doomsday fish. It looks like a horse. It kind of looks like a seahorse. Is that the world's largest seahorse? Imagine those things. If they, if that thing swims in the water standing up like a seahorse. I'm not reading that, but <laughs> that's funny. Oh, God. This is one of my favorite subreddits. Public Freakout. Alice Springs in Australia today, although this was eight months ago. Oh, shit. Zombies, dude. Was there a, a rabies breakout in Australia this day in uh, Alice Springs? Great doors, by the way. There you go. That's really uh, finding the silver lining in the situation. I don't know what this is from. Is, was this a protest? We're protesting the government, so let's break this private business's doors. No freaking way, dude. Look at that. Oh my God, I've never been so proud to be American. My local gas station's American-themed corner. American snagged. We got the Statue of Liberty. We want you to buy some snacks. What do we have here? Okay, Harboro, that's German. This is all Harboro. Haribo. Though those are really good gummies. Trolley, those are so good. Reese's, Hershey's, okay, okay. Takis. Honestly, I don't know what... I know those are popular, but I thought they were, like, Japanese or something. Flaming Hot Cheetos, hell yeah. This is awesome. This is so cool. Bugles! Oh, my God. Do you guys not normally have bugles? You gotta try some bugles, put them on your fingertips. I think you guys have something similar. I've seen a photo of one of you guys with, like, uh, chips on your fingertips. And what do we got over here? More Hershey's. Okay. Children playing in blue asbestos. <laughs> in Witten, Wit, Wittenum, Western Australia. Why do they look black and white? 
They are in black and white, right? But the background's not. I'm confused by that, but this is uh, interesting. I'm more so curious to see what they look like today. Do they have seven eyeballs? Oh, this guy posted a little update on them. Whitnoom kids who spent their childhoods exposed to asbestos in the northwest of Western Australia are now developing a wide range of cancers or dying at a rate well above the average population. Well, that's actually not very funny. That's pretty sad. You guys have this down under? <laughs> you guys have the old El Paso taco mix? You know... If there was anything really that I would have thought Australia pro probably didn't have as far as food, it would be kind of this like Mexican food stuff. Like, yeah, we have all sorts of this stuff over here in America because we're connected to Mexico, you know? They've got all, I don't know. There's a lot of Mexicans here really too. But this is like not real Mexican type stuff. I think it tastes great, but that's I guess that's because I'm white. You know you're in the white part when you find the old El Paso taco mix. Extra mild, super tasty, cool. Dude, I've seen this and I've seen talk about it. And this is from two months ago, but I saw an update today. Or I saw a headline today that apparently this might actually be going into motion. 16-year-olds uh, being banned from social media. I hope to be reading more about that in... This week in Australia, which is tomorrow. Because that's really interesting. Man gets beat up for walking in the middle of the road. Hmm. Holy crap. I mean, that's a pretty dickhead thing to do, right? Then again, I want to see what happened before the cameras were rolling. Because why would you... Well, I'm guessing this guy was walking down the middle of the road and this car came up and honked and this guy took offense to that and so he stayed there. That's my guess. Oh, it wasn't even the guy in the car that did it. That's kind of interesting. Just these two guys who saw it happening. <laughs> I'm actually curious to read some comments here. I do not know what I think about that. I mean, he definitely was being a dickhead, wasn't he? <laughs> so it is what it is. <laughs> I would probably want to push him out of the way if he was doing that in front of my car. I'm not going to lie. I don't think that's insane. I think that's what you get. And then, there you go. There was a pretty That was a pretty mild assault compared to others posted. That's true. You know, a mild assault. Some people need a mild. A little push. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. This is from the subreddit Australian, which I'm going to have to check out. I usually just go to r slash Australia. What's the difference? Toughest time to be, toughest time to be 30 years old in Australia. Hmm. It's the hardest it's ever been for a 30 year old in Australia, in Australia's history. It is true, 30 year olds are gonna be less well off than their parents are. That is a, that's a fact. It's a fact that. That's a sad fact. The same over here in America. When I was 30, the house cost me three times my salary. Now, eight times plus for a 30 year old is what it's gonna cost you to it kind of feels like the whole world was was and still is in a big economic expansion and the corporations kind of figured out how to keep most of that expansion for themselves. Unfortunately. For the working class, at least. That's just how it feels to me. What do I know? Us for a 30-year-old is what it's going to cost you to get into the housing market. It's true that HEX has doubled in the last 15 years, right? doubled from a $15,000 bill what is the hex well to a $30,000 bill it's true that a baby boomer 
paid half the tax that a 30-year-old pays now when they were 30 years of age. Oh, that's interesting. I never thought about that. I have never thought about that. Because the ramifications of paying, you know, less tax means maybe they were able to invest more in themselves and in their future when they were young. Interesting. But what is this hex? I actually feel like I should know what that is and I've heard it, but yep, it's the it's the student thing, right? I think it's student loans for cheap or something. It's it's got to do with that. I've reacted to that type of thing before. Feared gangster J Money gets humbled very quickly. <laughs> I love watching Mel wanna be gangsters get humbled. Free J Money. <laughs> Free J Money. Have I seen this? Why did that feel familiar? Free J Money. For oh, God's sake. Fuck you in the box. Fuck you in the box. Fuck you in the box. Huh? The God? Who says that? The God? And you want to talk about um, a deserved small little uh, push. That was one of them. Okay, this was, this is tagged NSFW. Not sure why though. <laughs> hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to cut this part out. Team of vets pull an entire beach towel out of a python. The python ate a beach towel? This is insane. I don't really see why this is not safe for work. This is the most fascinating thing I've ever seen. It really ate an entire beach towel. That sounds very dry, you know? You'd think you'd have to wash that down with something. Ooh. I am gonna fast forward a little bit. Oh my god. Whoa! Okay, I need to see that part. Snakes are so freaking weird, man. That's so crazy that it's just in there. The whole towel all still in one piece together. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! And he's okay. <laughs> Imagine, yay, we got our towel back. That's our favorite towel. Yay, we got it back. Thank you so much, doctors. All right, now we can we can put the snake down, guys. We got the towel back. <laughs> that was so cool. That was really cool. <laughs> So happy for those towel owners. Those were some amazing freaking clips. Oh my god, Australia never disappoints. What a what an amazing place, and a crazy place. That's a, that is what I was gonna first say. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching.